Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and uh, Virgo Rising. Weekly tarot reading June 17th to uh, June 23rd, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we are to jump straight away uh, into the reading. All right, <clears throat> so the first card which represents the topic for uh, Virgo week, that is going to be uh, the Page of uh, Swords, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that you Virgo are going to have here throughout the week, this is going to be the Two of Swords, followed by the third card which stands for the positive aspect of the week, this is going to be the Ten of Cups. And then the last one uh, is going to be um, the guidance that you should follow for throughout the week or the guidance that Taro has for you guys for throughout the week. That will be the Five of Wands. All right, so once again, uh, Page of Swords, it is the topic, followed by the Two of Swords, which is the challenge. Afterwards, it is the Ten of Cups, which stands for the guidance. And then the last one is going to be the uh, Five of Wands, which is the guidance. All right, Virgo, so this week um, you will have, uh, how can I describe it really? So this week as a grand scheme of things is going to be uh, rather quite uh, quiet and rather positive, meaning that uh, you will have a, a lot of um, these exhilarating enterprises, which doesn't necessarily mean that those enterprises are going to be enterprises giving you a great amount of success. What I'm trying to say is that you are going to have really pleasant experiences for throughout the week, spending good time with friends, you know, having an extraordinary experiences with your partners into relationship, um, achieving good results into your career and etc, etc. Now, uh, that is not the topic, however, this is the peripheral, this is saying, uh, this is the peripheral activities here, or rather like these, um, the everyday routine, it is going uh, rather smoothly and on a positive end. And this is the positive card into the reading. But the very topic itself, it is the page of swords, so that is a, a person. And uh, uh, what this person uh, will do for you for throughout the week is that they will try to uh, convince you into something, okay? Uh, and the thing is that they are gonna sound very, very convincing as well. Now, that thing that they're gonna try to convince you over is um, not, it's not consciously meant, so they don't mean it but it is going to disrupt you know your good flow into the daily routine so um this a uh, page of uh, swords it's uh, how can i describe it well let's say that what they're going to present you as what they're going to try to convince you in it's going to sound and it's going to look very good on paper but the thing is that with the page of swords it's not um, analyzed well enough by them i mean they don't know they don't see the full picture and that's why they are kind of 
filling up the the blank spots or the voids into that picture with with celluloid statements and with uh, fallacious um, as well uh, how can i describe it a uh, yeah a uh, fallacious uh, determination i don't know how to say it but not what i'm trying to say here guys is that not everything that this page says about what they are trying to convince you in it's uh, it's true the accompanied card here that is going to be uh, the seven of pentacles formation it is a uh, active enemies and the seven of pentacles is just a confirmation that that person here page of uh, swords did not took its time to make research and to carefully um, take under consideration every option that they have in front of themselves so they kind of like st are stuck with one option only right and they're trying to convince you that this option it is a either successful or a lucrative one it could be you know but the thing here with this reading is that they don't know that yet and they're trying to present it like they know it 100 percent sure to give you an example of it that could be a person approaching you for a private business and by how they are this describing and how they are putting it in front of you that private business is it's look a uh, like a fairy tale like the dream job you know but in reality what they're talking about they don't have a clue for the half of the things excuse me that they are talking about and they are just fictionize you know most of the circumstances that they are presenting so uh the challenge here is going to be the two of swords and the challenge is going to be to deflect um saying yes or no so you you have to postpone your answer do you want to um you know involve yourself into this activity into what that person offers to you or tries to convince you in or are you against it for the reason being is that you know before you decide what to do here with the two of swords you need to consider all points of view but the thing is that the page of swords gives you only one of the points not the other so if you find what they are telling to you very interesting you know or a, a very beneficial uh, then you have to try to um, to uncover the other point of view because one thing is like a coin it always have two sides the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, two of wands so we do have double twos definitely we're talking about passiveness and with the two of wands <clears throat> to the two of swords formation it is a, a passive friend um, active friends excuse me so um you need to de de decide or rather like you, you need to figure out um, is what that person telling you or tries to convince you is something that will contribute for your future unfoldment because the two of wands is about that you know it's about growth it is about placing your skills your uh, finances if you will or making the accurate investments exactly into the field that you can grow in in other words you need to um, figure out is this uh, offer here or rather like a situation will give you a, a chance to improve your skills your knowledge your material gains as well and uh you know your uh, your position into the society but that can happen only if you consider the two sides of the coin so the positive aspect however something completely peripheral to the first uh, couple of uh, positions ten of cups it does point that apart from that you know everything else is gonna go rather smoothly you know your marriage is gonna go rather smoothly your career is gonna go rather smoothly with the ten of cups <clears throat> it's uh it's likely that things are to unfold rather very steadily and in a positive fashion and uh, that will kind of like present you with i don't know how to say it in english but maybe a safe heaven would i say that way so even if that thing which this person is trying to convince you over doesn't work out at all you do have something else to go back to so that is the ten of cups so those who are more eager of you uh, of you can straight away decide you know to contribute with this uh, page of swords just uh, be aware that you may be disappointed uh, further down the road into the future the accompanied card here that is to be the sun card 
the formation is passive enemies that we have and as the sun card appears that is not something new that you can enjoy at and it is something quite stable as well what i'm trying to say is that you are to enjoy your blessings you know the blessings being um, happily married for example the blessings having good friends the ble the blessings having a job and etc etc so you are to realize your blessings and as well you are to realize that it's not worth jeopardizing them unless you know this endeavor with the page of swords that you are to undertake if you decide to that is um, it's something how can i describe it consistent and uh, because uh, one more example comes to my mind right now so let's say that page comes with a business uh, plan to you i mean they uh, want to make something business wise but that business requires a loan from the bank Okay, and before you both take the loan, you need to figure out, you know, how lucrative that business is going to be. Is actually what that page tells you, it's something um, manifestable or it's, it's something uh, fallacious. So the last card here, that is the guidance and we have the uh, five of wands. So the guidance is a little bit of a contradictory to the page uh, because... Uh, how can I describe it? So the five of wands, it points that even though the page may talks bullshit right now, actually their idea isn't bad at all, okay? Maybe the way that they try to manifest that idea, it ain't gonna work out, but the idea uh, the idea itself, it works, it works considering. Or maybe the five of wands tells that the idea is good, you know, the manifestation is good, or the way how to manifest it is good, but now it's not the time, okay? So <clears throat> with the five of wands, uh, here, uh, it, all that the card says is that you should not scratch out completely, you know, what the page is trying to convince you over. But instead, like I said, with the two of one, uh, with the two of swords and the two of wands, you need to postpone it further into the future when the situation is much more clearer than now in this week, June 17th to June 23rd. The accompanied card here that is to be the, the uh, Ace of Swords and the Ace of Swords is the card... It, of sword is the card of truth so definitely uh should you consider the idea and put your own personal thoughts into it with the with the ace of swords it seems that you're gonna reach to the bottom of it all right to the root of the matters and uh, probably you alone will be able to systemize a, a plan how to uh, make that idea reality okay so the page for you may not be a, a companion at all, maybe, maybe just someone who just shares an idea, tries to convince you over, you see that the idea is good, but what they are uh, trying to present as a, a plan of manifestation is uh, rather a bunch of crap. Uh, you turn them down, but you keep up that idea for the future to uh, develop it on your own when you do have a actually solid plan how to do it. So that being said, uh, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading for June 17th to June 23rd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked, and you liked it, guys. And we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.